Hi guys, I was gonna be lazy and film later, but I decided to go ahead and get out the way. The sun is great right now. Um, which video do I want to do first? I think I'll do a, the most unexpected um, midnight daydream wax co. So I thought that his shop was officially shut down. I don't know what gave me that idea, but I saw the other day he had posted in his um, Insta story wax. He said, come and get what's left. And I said, I'm coming. <laughs> like I literally ran over there. Um, So I got, I think I took the paper out of here. Yeah, I took the paper out of here. So I got a, I got a good amount of things though. Like a good amount of things. And I can tell you the four dates and everything. Now I will preface this video for anyone who does, who's not aware. He's closing shop um, as soon as everything sells out from what I understand. And so this is more of a show and tell than most of my normal show and tell okay so the first thing i have is i got more christmas wax but some of it doesn't smell very christmasy so i'll be using it anyways a sample i got a sample here of fluffy strawberry donut muffins marshmallow bakery strawberry jam cake and donut muffins oh okay sorry i read I don't know why I read that like that. Okay, so the title of, or the name of this wax is Fluffy Strawberry Donut Muffins. The notes are Marshmallow Bakery, Strawberry Jam Cake, and Donut Muffins. Okay. <laughs> it looks like this. Um, all the items look like this. The only reason I know this is a sample is because it does say sample pour day. Excuse the, my finger has a thing on it. <laughs> and that's from 9-7 September. So this is Beyond Cured. This is actually really good. I'm kind of picky about strawberry, but this this has potential has potential the strawberry could go either way for me sometimes so that's why i say it has potential this is bunelos bunelos is that the word this is funnel cake batter and sugar and spice type i'm not sure what the type is but it's these are the two ounce scent shots and the pour date is 11 8. Oh, this is the one that was smelling through the bag it smells like cinnamon sugar oatmeal which is a scent that you guys, I've told you several times, is like from my childhood. So I like love it. Yeah. I love that these are like scent cups. I chopped these in half and then used half and half. This is Snowball Brulee. It's creme brulee and salted caramel liquor. Now this is super caramel. I did smell this before. Poured in 11.9. Super caramel. So I'm not going to, I'm not sure I'm going to love that. That was always an, a chance though. It says caramel. <laughs> The next thing I have is Santa's chair, and that's Toasted Marshmallow, Tobacco, Leather, and Christmas Candy Shop. Now this is everything that I love about Christmas. This is a true Christmas scent to me, so I think I'll be saving this one for Christmas. I should put this one in the little side area, yeah. Okay, because that's really good. Did I tell you the notes? Toasted Marshmallow, Tobacco, Leather, and Christmas Candy Shop. I wonder if it's a Christmas candy shop. Something about it's like super Christmas. So this is fruit explosion. It's blonde moment type and juicy fruit type. This has made me realize I've never had juicy fruit type before, but I do not like it. It smells exactly it's true. So true, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's just the type. And I've never had blonde moment type before. Blonde moment. Yes, it's type. I don't know what that's from. This is rugula and it's croissant kitchen and raisin bread and butter. So first of all, never had arugula. Always wanted to try it. <laughs> Me and my husband are really big fans of Duff and he's always talking about arugula. And so we we're like, oh my gosh, we need to find like someplace that sells authentic arugula. <sighs> Smells so good. Now I need arugula minus raisins. I didn't, I don't know if raisins are in arugula, but I hope not because I've always wanted to try it and this cemented that. The next thing I have is a two ounce and shot of figgy pudding. Pudding is brown sugar fig type maple bread pudding. And honestly, I get body care from this. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's the brown sugar fake type, but the type that is the body care kind of makes it less foodie, which I kind of expected it to be foodie. But that's fine because sometimes maple is not my favorite. So I actually do like that. This is blackberry cobbler, warm blackberry cobbler, fresh from the oven. So straight to the point, love that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I smell it. Okay. Not a huge fan of berry scents. 
I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but I don't. <laughs> I don't typically buy Sperry scents. A lot of things here you'll see are notes that I don't typically typically buy, but because of the limited selection and I really, really want to get my hands on something, um, I went ahead and ordered things that I were like, ah, could be questionable, you know? So this is Christmas Memories. It's fresh pine tree, warm spice, cedarwood, and caramel musk. This is a really good tree. Cedarwood. Yeah, something about that is a really good tree. So I'm going to go ahead and save that one for Christmas. When was this poured? 11, 8. Yeah. And then last but not least is my jumbo. <laughs> and it is four ounces. It was poured in August. Four ounces. It's for comparison. Two ounce, four ounce. And then sample size. So that's your comparison. This is in Buried Alive. And it is rose jam, redwood, and roasted chestnuts. There's very few rose jam scents that I don't like. And, the, you know, roasted chestnuts and rose jam, I was just like, there's no way. But it's actually really good. It doesn't, I don't know if it smells cohesive per se, but it's good. And I like that. So, I will be, I don't even know how to chop this. I can tell you. Is how many uses is this? Oh, let's see. If that's two and I use it, okay, so it's four uses. I should have figured that one. Okay. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe for more content like this and have a great day.